Hey yo, what's poppin' guys? So, a while back we did a Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta 2.0 discussion, so it's only fitting that we close things off here with Super Saiyan Blue Goku 2.0. Now I'll show you the Kaioken! All right, so just a spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Dragon Ball Super Pass the Goku Black arc, you've been warned. So Super Saiyan Blue Goku is one of those figures that represents a pretty iconic and modern look for Goku. And despite this, he is in some serious need of some remodeling. Now, if you missed out on him, I wouldn't panic if I were you. But if you feel that you need to fill that Super Saiyan Blue gap in your soul, you can always pick up the figureized version of him. A cheaper yet decent alternative at this point. Peep the link in the description below. Alright, so with that said, let's get the obvious out of the way. At this point, if Tamashi was to release a new 2.0 Super Saiyan Blue Goku, they would probably use the upcoming 2.0 base Goku's mold. And I think it'd be really surprising if they didn't. And to be honest, I can't see much reason for them not to. Plus, they can spend more of the budget on the hair and accessories. Alright, so let's kick things off starting at the top. So with regard to discussing a new hair sculpt we could potentially see, I'm going to be using how he was drawn in Dragon Ball Super episodes where Yuya Takahashi was involved, as come on, you have to admit this was arguably the best looks for Goku and Vegeta in Super, let alone the Tournament of Power. So this hair is a darker shade of blue than how Super Saiyan Blue is depicted in the majority of the anime, but in my opinion, it looks sick. Now coincidentally, this is very similar to the shade of blue the current Super Saiyan Blue figure already has, so what could we change to improve upon it? I think a slightly more metallic edge would look really distinguished, and I mean it would take it one step closer to matching the 1.0 Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta's hair. Now let's be real, we wouldn't have a 2.0 Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta for a future 2.0 Super Saiyan Blue Goku to match because Goku would get released first, it's just as simple as that. Okay, so let's zoom into another area that I think needs improvement here, and it's the face. The definition is lacking, I mean when you compare this to 2.0 figures, there's something missing on all the expressions for the faces this figure comes with that just doesn't have the ability to communicate a fierceness that Super Saiyan Blue should offer. I mean forgive the weird pose going on with Vegeta here, but from this distance, they're both smirking. Can you even really tell that that easily? Now the reason I say 2.0 treatment would fix this issue is because all the 2.0s seem to be upscaled from the 1.0s which would account for Tamashii's ability to increase facial expression details on these figures. I mean, this upscaling slightly would kind of explain why the scaling in Fig Arts is out of whack, and 2.0 Scouter Vegeta is too tall. If you want a better idea of what I'm talking about here, take a look at the 1.0 and the 2.0 leg differences. Do you see how, especially down here in the calf portion, it's just wider and bigger in general? This is why I believe that there has been a little bit of an upscaling going on in general since the 2.0s came into fruition. Alright, so I skipped articulation on this one because I think we all know pretty much what we're getting based on the Super Saiyan 3 2.0's body mold. But faces is something I just want to touch on again. Now in terms of expressions, I definitely want them to keep the stern and yelling faces, but I want this smirk to be a little bit more defined like I was saying. You should be able to tell the difference between a smirk and a stern look without having to stoop down and get up close and personal with the figure. It's just common sense for a 6 inch figure. Next, I think including a teeth gritting face like how Awakening Goku did would be a decent move with this figure. As if you're gonna do a 2.0 Super Saiyan Blue Goku figure, you might as well do it right so the fan base doesn't get all pissed off at you for releasing a lackluster one only to release a slightly different one a few months later. I'm looking at you PC Vegeta. And real quick in terms of accessories, a Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken aura would be dope. You want more sales? Throw this in Tamashi, you'll do well with it. Now I know we're flying through this 2.0 discussion, but like I said, due to the fact that we have an updated 2.0 Goku mode coming out, there's not much to discuss in terms of the body. Now despite the well needed upgrade, they did do a couple things right, and the first, most obvious one is the new outfit, and it's currently the only figure to have it. Whether or not we'll see it pop up in 2.0 form is uncertain, but if they base it off the Universe 6 arc, then I actually think we might see it again. The next thing is, while not 100% perfect, their hearts were in the right place tweaking the hair sculpt as it really is slightly different than the original Super Saiyan hair in the anime as well, and props to them for actually sculpting this Buu Saga-esque style of Super Saiyan hair on Goku and not just reusing Awakening Goku's sculpt. So for why'd you do it, I want to know. With the 2.0 tech on the horizon after this figure's release, was it that important to rush this figure out? And on top of that, as a web exclusive for sales, 
surely if you'd waited a few months and released Goku and Vegeta Blue on 2.0 tech, you'd see a significant spike in sales to this date, and you wouldn't see Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta at retail in stock at various retailers. I mean, with this, you could argue that Tamashi wanted to capitalize off Super Saiyan Blue's original hype, but I mean, we see this transformation all throughout Dragon Ball Super, so the hype never really died down too much. Alright peeps, so I've said my piece about what I expect for 2.0 Super Saiyan Blue Goku. I really hope Tamashi consults some of the more pronounced artwork from Super for this, and if they do it, it would be much appreciated, I think. Do you have the original Super Saiyan Blue Goku? Will you be picking up the figureized version for the time being? Let me know down below, and as always, you know what I say. May the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows. Peace.